Hello everyone and welcome to, you guessed it, it's, it's pretty prevalent and obvious, uh, Surgeon Sim, yay, uh, for those who don't know, this is, this is literally, as it sounds, it's a game where you simulate being a surgeon, a surgeon called Nigel, no less, and that's the actual time. If you look on the watch, that's the actual time it is IRL. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, this game is all about performing surgeon surgeries, sur sur surgery. That's that's the one with only one hand. I don't know why it's only one hand. It's just probably just to make the game difficult. But what's harder about this game is that what it says on the controls over here. You right-click to rotate your hand as you choose, uh, and then you. Sorry. And you left click. Hello? Must have been a wrong number. Um, you left click to sort of lower it down. So like that. And you let go and it will bring it back up. And you use A, W, E and R and space to clench in like, I don't know what the word is. Bring in your fingers like that. So basically in this video, I'm only going to do one surgery because it takes me so long to do one. Well, not ages long, but you know, long enough. And I'm not very good at this. Uh, things to know, I have already played this game, not to near completion, but a fair amount. I've done most of the surgeries. And I have found this heart transplant. Not to be easy, but I think probably would have the highest entertainment value. Okay, so basically, this is the hardest part of the whole. Okay, the blanket appears to have swallowed my hand. There you go. Um, like, it's really. I don't know. I don't know if it's a game or just having to do it the way you do, but using your hand to remove this blanket because it's such a glitchy game in places like with like that like that items and lungs clipping into each other and getting stuck it's I don't know what it has why it does that but it does it a lot often with your hand more than anything else but basically, uh, we're doing a heart transplant, like I said, so we're going to have to get to his heart, so... We're going to have to break through his ribs. Also, this guy's called Bob. Worthy mention there. Congrats, Bob. you got me as a doctor. Uh, I wouldn't say this game is, like, massively realistic, because, come on, there's... We're trying... This guy's lung is merged with his ribs. It, there's no medical record of that ever happening, I don't think. I, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure that's a rare occurrence. But yeah, this game isn't like overly realistic, so it's not like if you like sever something, you're not supposed to, he'll die. I mean, he can bleed and stuff. But, you know, it's not just gonna... I'm not sure how to put it. Die for like the, the tiniest thing, which probably would cause death IRL, but I don't know. There's got there's a limit. Like you can't make it so realistic that you have to be like a real surgeon to actually understand how to do it. You've got to make it fun as well. Okay, so basically we are hmm, we've got the central part of his ribs out, I suppose. Um, yeah. What else? Well, the other parts of the ribs, which are always fun to get through because they're small and hard to hit. Get rid of that. Uh, for God's sake. To think there's a mission you have to do this in the back of an ambulance, and then one way you have to do it in space. And there's stuff flying everywhere. It's like internal organs, medical instruments, the doors of the back of the ambulance fly open, and someone's poor Bob's lung flies out and splats on someone's windscreen. You know, I think. I think that will do for now. I think we're ready to remove a lung. Probably this one. So come in and try and grab it. Come on. 
ये बो के It appears his liver, I think that is, has also come loose, so it's a bonus. Oh, come on. There we go. You just don't need that. Yeah, there you go. Look after that for me, Bob. Oh, for God's sake, you have one job. You're just sleeping on the job as well. Look at this. Just gone to sleep. God. Uh, come on. I'm not sure how he's still alive. I don't know the whole point. I don't see the whole point in breath having a breathing mask if you have no lungs. I think we have to use this bone saw thing. <laughs> yeah, we got it. I don't see the whole point in having a breathing mask if you've got no breathers. Okay, lungs. Is that more common? There we go. Okay, I think that's enough. Uh, the only problem with these like utensils is that once you pick them up, they activate and they don't turn off. That one's not too bad, but when you do it with the drill, like oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. You just you just hold on to that for me. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, that's really obnoxious. Okay. Yep, can still hear it. Okay, we don't need the hammer anymore. I'm just going to put that to the side. Uh, well, his stomach pipe, esophagus, that's the one, is in the way of his heart, which we're transplanting, so we're going to have to cut that. Um, there, maybe? There. It's really hard to aim. You don't have a very good depth perception when you play this game. Cause like I'm just stabbing. Fuck. Oh, there we go. Okay, have to reach in and grab that out. There you go. You can sleep with that up. Don't know how that went under there. Kind of just fell. But basic. Shit. We need the green one, but it's clipped into the dish. I wonder if that's ever happened before. There we go. Uh, you just stab him in the face and he stops bleeding. Just put that back. Okay. Next thing. Alright, remove the actual stomach, I think. Before that causes more problems. Come on. Come on. You see, this would be a lot easier if you had two hands. Oh, the uh, uh, guest keeping that. You can keep that. As compensation for the damage I've caused, you can keep my cheap watch. It's probably not even that expensive. Uh, for God's sake. Screw you and your stomach. Anyway, a stomach doesn't necessarily need to go, I suppose. Is there any? Oh, for God's sake! That's the other thing with this. Often, more or less, more often than not, with scalpels, you go to pick them up and it just does this. They just hover and stick to your hand, and you can't actually tell whether you're holding them or not. And it also happens when you're trying to cut things because you can't see where you're going. And you just end up jabbing wildly at a guy's chest cavity until you hear something. There you go. His heart stopped beating, so he must have had that removed. Uh, I guess we'll just pull that out. Come on. There we go. Fine specimen. Well, actually, it isn't because we've taken it out so we can have a new one. Um, you have a blessed child. Uh, so I guess now that his chest cavity and area has been fully decimated and 
Uh, what's the other word? I don't know. Come on, open. Uh, for God's sake, this is the hardest part of the game. You have to perform a brain transplant, and that's the easiest thing ever. But opening the fucking box that has the heart or kidneys in the kidney transplant is hard as fuck sometimes. Okay, got his heart. This is a fine specimen of a heart. Out of all the hearts I've seen, two. This is a good one. There you go, surgery complete. Looks fine to me, I'm sure he'll live. But a C, that's a pass. I think. Well, it must be, because we completed. Uh, 8 minutes 44, and a final blood level of 3,529 milliliters. Uh, well, uh, that's probably... We'll say that's the end of this episode. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been more of a test than anything else, just to see if people actually wanted to see any surgeon say or anything like that. Um, uh, if you've enjoyed this, please, well, you don't have to, but like, comment, uh, maybe even subscribe. Um, I don't expect you to, but you know, it's always it's always appreciated. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, uh, tell me by all means, and I will do more videos on this because I like this game a lot. It's I don't know, it's just fun. In a really funny, also kind of macabre. <sighs> Can we just like... No. Can we just press the decline? For God's sake. Be gone. Oh. Get out. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, uh, like, comment, subscribe, etc, etc, I'll see you in the next video, maybe this, if you liked it, um, yeah, just wave bye, and see ya.